Okay, um, first thing I'm going to talk about is mesquite. And uh, if you catch me on something, like Alan said, let me know. Uh, I think it's important to understand what the target is uh, with these brush species. And Alan's mentioned that uh, a lot of these are, are re-sprouters. And this is an example. This actually happens to be wee satch. We grubbed this up down south of Alice, Texas, and I guarantee it didn't re-sprout because we got everything it needed to re-sprout. But what you need to understand is, uh, I mean, have you ever seen shredding kill a, kill a mesquite plant? Anybody? Why do we do it? You know, it won't kill a mesquite plant. The reason it doesn't is uh, right about here is ground line on this plant. And this, this has a central bud zone. And the reason I'm using this we set is mesquite has the same kind of sprouting mechanism. It has a central bud zone. So if, if you just imagine the trunk going down in the ground, and that bud zone can go as deep as uh, 18 inches to the, in the ground to the first lateral root, okay? It's not a root sprouter, it sprouts from the central bud zone. So when you take that top off, what you do is you release those buds. The buds above that point are suppressing buds below it. So when you cut this off uh, with, or take, remove it with fire, however you remove it, you release those buds. And so what you basically do is you make the plant mad. So you, you can convert a single stem plant into a multi-stem plant and then you've reduced your options for control or, or management. Okay, so the target is not up here. The target's down here. And what we're trying, there's, there's basically two ways to control the, or kill these plants. You extract it from the ground like this or you get a herbicide to move in either through the foliage or through the stem and get down in here and kill these buds, okay? So that's, that's the target below ground, that, that bud zone. Okay, uh, we'll talk about leaf spray first. With mesquite, we've got a uh, development of the plant that helps us identify when, when to spray. We start with bud break in the spring, and the country that I work in, that bud break usually occurs around March the 20th, and uh, they're around Uvalde, then around, down around uh, uh, Carrizo Springs about March the 10th, you know, so uh, we have a progression from, from south to north in bud break. And about 45 days later, theoretically, the soil temperature should be right. And what we're looking for on soil temperatures, we want the soil temperature at 12 inches deep to be 75 degrees or better. Okay, when it gets to 75 degrees, that tells us that we've got the conditions, at least in terms of soil temperature, that allow us to spray. Okay? So, uh, the other thing that we wanna, want to have happen is, uh, when that uh, bud break occurs, you look at those mesquite leaves and they're, they're pea green. And what's happening is that, that that's a, uh, it's too early to spray. The reason it's too early to spray is those leaves are only manufacturing food for themselves. Okay? And what we need to have happen is we need to ha have that leaf produce food and then translocate it, move it down to this bud zone here. We want that herbicide to come down here and kill those buds. Okay? So, the way we know that that plant is ready, there's two ways. One is we look at the foliage and the foliage will turn from la that light green, that pea green, to a dark green. And that tells us the plant's ready. The other, and that, that change in leaf color corresponds with that soil temperature change. Okay, so those two should happen together. Uh, now, if I was doing aerial spraying, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even think about doing aerial spraying without having a soil thermometer and, and measuring soil temperature, make sure it's above that 75 degrees. Uh, so, so those two things, like I say, they, they generally correspond with each other. This, this year and last year, what I noticed on soil temperature was it 45 days after bud break, the soil temperature wasn't right. You know, it was slow for some reason. So, 
sometimes it doesn't work out you know along the calendar date that you expect it to work out so when we get those that leaf color the way we want it then it's time to spray now if you look in the brush busters pamphlet there's it'll tell you that you can go up to into september with this with the leaf spray on mesquite but there's a parenthesis in there that says in east texas and south texas you got to cut off july 31st and I can tell you from experience in South Texas that's that's correct. Uh, anytime we lose the leaf from insect damage, from frost, from hail, from whatever, from rust, then we've lost our pump to get the that material in into the plant. Okay, we need a healthy leaf crop to trans to uh, absorb the herbicide and then translocate the herbicide to that bud zone. Okay, so uh, if, if you live north in uh, like San Angelo area or, or north of where I do, then maybe, maybe up into September would work for you. I would tell you that uh, where, I, where I work, I would look at the, even before July 31st, I'd look at the leaf. And if I've had significant insect damage, or if I've had, if we've had, been lucky enough to have rain, and you get new growth, you're gonna have new green growth in the top of those plants, and that, green, that new green growth isn't gonna translocate for you. Okay, so that's a signal that you might not wanna spray yet. So you want that dark, uniform dark green canopy. Okay, 